Look where I'm at today. So excited. I always wanted to come here. Vintage venue. Vintage venue on US 1 in Rockledge, I believe. Let's go check it out. Let's start with this beautiful vintage ballerina costume. Pretty cool. Got some really old furniture here. like a mid-modern lamp. The original sea sponges came from Marathon Key. It's a fun fact. <laughs> Look at this old breakage. Those are little glass robin eggs. We got clothes here. Of course, there's trunks. You wouldn't believe what you can do with old mattress springs. <laughs> Check that out. Pretty cool. I love vintage clothes. Look at that. This place would be perfect if you're looking for a unique gift, like a gift shop. What is this? Oh, cool. Made into a little jellyfish craft. Oh, I'm guessing these pieces change constantly. Each time you come in here, there'll be lots of new things. I'm seeing a lot of wings here. Wings. <laughs> I wonder how old these flamingos are. Love them. Oh. Japanese floats. Have you guys ever seen a real cotton tree? Cotton plant? Check it out. It's cotton and then there's seeds in there. These are cotton balls growing on a plant. Wow, look at this stove. <gasps> it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, it's in there. Got old tools here. Of course, they have some refinished, repurposed old items made to look beautiful again. That's gorgeous. That's something I would put in my house. I don't know if you could see that old tutu up there. <laughs> And some more wings on a mannequin. Pretty cool. <sighs> so 
some vintage 60s looking, 50s and 60s looking dresses. The material is so different. Look at that. Oh, it's so cool. I actually like this coat. <laughs> People used to actually carry around, this is the original water bottle. This is a glass, this is glass under here. And there's the cap. And they used to lug these around to, for a water supply for their house or their boat. How cool is that? I have never seen one of these fully intact like this. And I, I bet that glass is beautiful under there. Ooh. I would Check this out. This is Sylvia's, the owner Sylvia's DIY section. Yes, she says, it. oh, it's too messy. No, but this is where all the magic happens. Sylvia does custom paint work and refinishing and refurbishing on your old furniture. And she also has classes. So. If you're interested, come check her out at Vintage Venue. Oh, I love this little guy, this little piggy bank. Oh, I was looking for a piggy bank for Trin for forever, and I ended up buying a new one. Now I'm upset, because I want him. Stunning. Wow. Of course they got all of it. Old chandeliers and headboards, bed frames, and everything looks beautiful. This old stuff. Look at this slip. That's just stunning. Wow, silver trays. Some more rings. Oh, jewelry. I must check this out later. I'm going to come back and look at all this one at a time. One day I'm going to make myself a rag rug and I would love for it to come out just like this. Pretty. And that vanity is sold, of course. Score. Old blue mason jars, anyone? Okay. And they have another basket with all of those old lids. Looks like she sells some paint over here. Now, I've been wanting to actually decorate one of these animal skulls. Now I know where to go to get one. <gasps> if you are interested in the style of the 50s and 60s, there is just a ton of stuff here that would make your day. Oh, so cool. Jack. Oh, Trin actually collects these, these little miniatures. I don't even, I don't remember what the story is behind these. Something about the depression. Do you remember what the story is behind these? They come out of uh, red tea. They come out of tea, rose tea boxes. Rose tea boxes. Yeah. 
these are so hard to find I'm going to be rummaging through these in a little bit because I promised Trinity a surprise when I came home <laughs> so here we go Trin hope that you smile so fascinated by these we've been collecting these for years Trinity puts these in her fairy garden that I made her from Ro Red Rose Teas Noah's Animals on Parade and how old are these do you remember like about 